Good afternoon, Steve Crouch from Newton Crouch Incorporated. We call this an applicator because it's using the John Blue pump, which is a very precision piece of equipment. It's designed to give you the ability to speed up, slow down, and yet keep your rate constant. It does that by pressure, so you have a, a tip limitation, but it's a great product for you doing pasture work and especially rough ground so you can speed up, slow down, and keep the rate the same. On the John Blue, has an inch and a half line, but it has a strainer out here on the outside so that you can easily check it. We like to use uh, 30 mesh or 50 mesh. 50 is standard, but more and more when people are using 19%, per it's come back to using a 30 mesh strainer. So uh, it, we use a spraying systems, T-Jet type sprainer, strainer, and it's a great piece of equipment. On a 45 John Blue applicator, you need to have agitation if you're doing chemical work because the, all the product is used by the John Blue pump. Every time it strokes, the product's got to go somewhere, so it's very important to know how to set your John Blue for your swath and your, and your speed that you want to go. So how do we get agitation? We get agitation through a roller pump, which is uses 540 or 1000. We have two different models on agitation. We have the 7560N, which is a nigh resistant, especially used in liquid nitrogen. Then we have the 1700. 1700 gives you quite a bit more agitation, but we're able to increase agitation by using jet agitators in the bottom of the tank. So you have a suction line, which is always on the bottom, pressure line, which is on the top. You connect your pump uh, adapter so it's not turning. You can run it up to 540, comes in, goes back out to the agitator. We have two different types of agitators in the bottom. We have one a single, jet agitator and we have a double we call bugle. The bugle's the deluxe model. It's just gonna give you lots, lots more agitation. And it's also adjustable by putting adapters in it to, for the amount of flow that you have coming to it. So it's a very simple system. Has a suction on the front, returns to the agitator in the bottom. One of the points about a John Blue spray system is the pressure is gonna change as you speed up and slow down. So the pressure, you can't regulate it. It's a, it's a fact of how much you're trying to put out, how fast you're going. But it's always good to know when you're running a constant steady speed to be able to turn around and look, make sure your pressure's the same. If you blow a hose or something, obviously the pressure would go down. If you have a nozzle stopped up, obviously the pressure's gonna go up. We use an all stainless steel four inch gauge here. So you can see uh, the handle very nicely and it's a great option. And one of the Great things to always, when you're out in the field, your hands are dirty, you've got nitrogen on them or whatever, be able to wash your hands or in an emergency, you have a, a eye wash of some sort. So this is a five gallon for clean water. Just simply turn the handle on and you can wash your hands. So the question has been asked about really how does the John Blue work? John Blue works off of uh, either a ground tire, has to have ground speed. So you can either get it off the ground tire, which we don't recommend which we do recommend the press wheel or drive wheel. We call it a drive wheel. It works off a sprocket ratio. You have a set from the drive wheel to the jack shaft, the jack shaft to the pump. That's all adjustable up to the limits of the piece of equipment. You have a setting of one to 10. You never want to go below two. You can go all the way up to 10. But when you approach 10, you need to be careful about your speed and your pressure. Uh, this piece of equipment has two more options on it that we find very useful. One's the quick fill. We normally mount this with a two inch uh, female. Has a cutoff right here at the, at the female and then one to cut off and one going into the tank. You can simply take one of our nurse trailers, hook to it, open it up, use the pump on the nurse trailer to fill it. Another good option is the load ramp, which you just to ease yourself up through there. Always gotta be careful about climbing or anything. Make sure it's not slick. So when you get in there, you can either hand the chemicals up or we have other options called uh, chemical in, uh, loaders, inductors, that you can load your chemicals from the ground. So this gives you the ability to look into the tank. Visit our website at www.newtoncrouch.com for equipment specifications and technical tips. Then give us a call at 800-241-1350. Our sales representatives will be glad to discuss your specific needs. They can help you select the options and the equipment type that will give you the best value for your investment. When you call NCI, you will always speak with a person 
who will make sure your questions are answered. No recordings. Proudly made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch.